two one smash mouth sports we're going live uh if you like sports uh we appreciate you watching this video if you don't like sports and you just want to get angry and talk about twitter or joe rogan send me the comments like and subscribe because this is a short video it's about the insanity of twitter and this is 100 percent about joe rogan was right joe rogan about a year ago said and i'm going to link the video in here joe rogan said twitter is like blockbuster video for those people <laughs> For those people, and I could not agree with them more. I totally agree with Joe Rogan on that. Twitter, and by the way, Parler sucks. This is going to be about Parler sucks. Twitter also sucks, but Parler sucks much worse than Twitter does. But here is what's interesting about Twitter. We're in this spot now. And here's what Joe Rogan was saying about Blockbuster. For those that are under 30, you're like, what the hell is Blockbuster video? And what is a video and a VHS? That doesn't even make any sense. What, what, what even <laughs> is that? Okay. And I get that. If you didn't have an older brother or your father or an uncle or whoever that didn't tell you about Blockbuster Video, uh, if you're under 30, a uh, Cam pretends, he's Cam's, what, 24, pretends to understand about Blockbuster. But yep. Bl Blockbuster's been out of business for, I believe, 10, 10 plus years. So maybe you got a little bit of it. But, you know, when I, if you're under 30, you, you really don't understand Blockbuster. Blockbuster had a lot of meaning to a lot of people over 30. I remember as a kid uh, in the 90s, my uncle... I said, you know, visit him in St. Louis. And he goes, hey, we got to go to uh, Blockbuster Video. And he goes, oh, they're out of business. I go, what? He goes, oh, don't be ridiculous. Blockbuster Video will never go out of business. Well, people say the same thing about Twitter. The president uses Twitter. Everybody uses Twitter. And Twitter is huge. It is one of the biggest communication platforms in the world. But here is why Twitter is eventually going to go out. Because there's too many threats. There's too much insanity. And there's too many things that follows you with comedians and actors and celebrities, maybe, or, or you were in high school or middle school, you know, five years ago, 10 years ago, you, you said an inappropriate tweet in middle school and high school when you were 15 years old, now you're 25 and you're trying to get a job. It takes a look at it in middle school and high school. So yes, Joe Rogan was right. Twitter is going to be the new Blockbuster. Just like when I was a kid, Blockbuster was a big part of our life. Just like right now, Twitter is a big part of our life. You use it for business. I only use Twitter. Uh, last night, I or Thursday night, I was sending out some tweets more than I normally do about the game. I was excited about the Rams and my fantasy defense and Cam Akers and the Patriots tanking. Uh, but Twitter is going down uh, the tubes because of everything that I mentioned. People are looking at old tweets from five years ago, ten years ago. I just think it's become too toxic. And Parler sucks. For those who don't know what Parler is, Parler is the conservative, we'll call it the conservative bootleg version of Twitter. I've got nothing against conservatives, nothing against Republicans, um, but Parler sucks. It absolutely sucks. So, Cam, it does. I, what are your thoughts on that? I've tried to get people to say, hey, sign up to Parler. You can say whatever you want to, but it, it absolutely sucks. So what are your it, thoughts on it's, Twitter? It's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. I 100% agree. It, it's awful. Here is, here is Parler. Follow Mark Levin, follow Sean Hannity. So if you don't like Mark Levin, if you don't like Sean Hannity, uh, there's nobody else on. I mean, probably there's nobody else on it. The, the thing with Twitter that makes it so great, I mean, obviously I just bashed it, but what makes it good is it's easy to use. There's a big following. Everybody's on there. At some point, they're going to have to clean up Twitter with the threats and the violence and the, the insanity and the cursing and this. There's just so much dumpster fireness to Twitter, for lack of a better word. So, yeah, so Joe Rogan was right. I'm going to link that. Uh, Cam, what are your thoughts? You you love Twitter. So you tell me before we wrap this up in about another minute. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, Twitter one day will uh, die out. I agree. It will 100%. 100%. Here's, here's what I see happening. It's going to get see, so toxic, people are going to turn it off. Here's what I see. I see I see the next Twitter. The next Twitter is going to be like a Snapchat. And what I mean by that is the next Twitter that they create it's only going to be there for 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Something along those lines, like a Snapchat filter. It's only, your, your, your post is only going to be there for 30 seconds, a minute, and then it's going to disappear. I can see something something along those lines or, or it only, like Snapchat, it can only be there for a day or two or three or four. This whole, you know, you can go back 10 years and look at somebody's, what they said 10 years ago is ridiculous. I mean, at the end of the day, Twitter is not 18. Facebook is not 18. So, th so that's the thing that I want people to understand. Like and subscribe to the channel. Cam, looks like you got something to say before we wrap this bad boy up. Just a short video. Just about covered it. I agree. It's going like down. And like and subscribe. See ya. See ya.